Hey guys, I was reading a blog post on Quora today, which is a really popular answer and question uh, forum, and I saw a question that is very, very popular um, that I think most people actually would have on their minds, and this has to do with knots in the upper traps or tightness in the upper traps. Um, in fact, one of the answers on Quora said that this is a problem that everyone has. Um, and when I read that, that stood out in my mind a little bit because I know someone that doesn't have that, and that's me and my clients. Um, really, the upper traps, well, actually, let me go back to what I saw in this forum. Uh, this forum had a series of um, people weighing in on why they thought there was um, upper trap tightness and upper trap knots and what to do about it. And nearly all the answers were essentially how to treat this as a symptom. In other words, uh, different stretches, um, different uh, ways to um, massage it out, to either do self-massage or stretch it out. But none of them really got to the point of why this happens in the first place. Why would everyone have the same common malady? Um, and to get to that, I want to think about what it is that the traps do. The traps attach, the upper traps attach uh, along the borders of the shoulder blades here, and they go and they attach up to the back of the head. One of the things they do is called retraction. It means they sort of draw the head back. Of course, we're not always drawing our head back for any reason to look up like that, but what most people have is they have a situation where their head's forward, and they're drawing it back to keep their eyes level. So when you have a situation where your head is forward of the shoulders, one thing that's going to happen is the muscles are going to have to work much, much harder just to keep your head up, just to keep your eyes forward. Your body has a very strong desire to keep your eyes forward and to keep your head level. And when you have structural imbalances, the muscles actually have to figure out how to deal with that. And what we have a lot of times is people that are trying to deal with the problem from the angle of dealing with the muscles. They say, this muscle is too tight, these muscles are imbalanced, these muscles have not, let's do something to the muscles. Um, which in my mind is backwards because what I find is that when we strict fix the structure, those things just go away. I've never seen someone able to deal with uh, trap tightness in any lasting manner that you could consider it fixed ex unless they are able to uh, correct posture. Um, that's something I want you guys to think about. Are you, are you dealing with symptoms and are you treating them as symptoms or are you looking at what those symptoms are, what the meaning is behind them, what the underlying cause is, and dealing with that? Um, if you have further questions, uh, go ahead and put them below, and I'll be writing more about this because it's something that comes up so often. Thanks again for listening. This is Dr. Alan Bonilla.